Hello, we'd like to invite you to the 36th Annual Rave Car Show and Flea Market, July 11th and 12th at the Vermont State Fairgrounds. Come and see all kinds of cars that we have here. We also have vendors, we have handcrafters, we have games for the children, we have games for the adults. Again, we'd like to invite you to the 36th Annual Rave Car Show and Flea Market, July 11th and 12th at the Vermont State Fairgrounds. We're on the outside, out of turn four, and we go racing! Ricky slides it into turn number one. Keep your eye on the number four, Chris LeVair, making his way up the field. Number two, and really goes out to a huge lead. Slate gets out of shape. Let's see how it plays out. They get a little shaky off of turn two, but McCartney has already pulled out to a six... Here comes Ron Blocker in the 27, up from the final starting position, up into second place now. Moving into the top five is Michelle Campbell. Benetti sitting in second, catches it third. He is under fire from Jesse Marks. Greg Atkins in the one, trying to hold off Robert. Robert trying to get one back and hold on the podium. Bob Kilburn shows the way. The rookie driver out of Fairhaven in the 77J is your leader. Snow in the five runs second. Billy Lucher in the 25 is third. Jimmy Ryan fourth in the 60. Then Quinzo in the 78. Point leader right now, Josh Masterson. Masterson rolling out of the back on the 11 car. Here comes Bobby Therrien, third one week ago. Gets into the back of Lowry. Two Lowry at the track. Todd Stone trying to rim ride the outside lane. Hammond right in the middle of the racetrack. Atkins on the bottom. Atkins again forces the issue on the bottom. Hammond. Not letting him have it at all in the 98 car. Through three and four for the final time. Bobby Darian will take the win. Second place goes to Brandon Atkins. Josh Masterson third. Todd Stone fourth. And Gordon starting to move on the outside lane around Jimmy Bushy. That's the battle for third spot. Scott McGill right behind him in the five. Gordon chipping away at that lead inch by inch here has the fastest lap of the race, and it was just last lap at a 19.525. Followed by the 29 of Bradley Bertrand, the 72, got something popping up on his head there coming up still. Followed by the number four of Chris LeVere. Oh my goodness, what even happened to that hood? Can he even see it that thing? Oh, a steering wheel, side by side, and a third four, and a pin that wins it. Robert Gordon will hang on for second spot. And it's going to be Robbie Green over Jeff Hessler Jr. Lockett down the inside picks up a couple of spots. As Christine Bosch in the 23 gets a little bit sideways. It will be Tarantino getting the win over Libby Johnson with Gary Rankin. Checkered flag, Chris LeVere. Well, we've just posted a $100 bounty on anybody who can beat you next week, so what do you think of that? Oh, boy, oh boy. Three car working off the bottom of the raceway. Here comes Bob Palmer on the outside of the raceway. Lead the way, Jack Gentile slots into second. The 92, Jackie Brown Jr. up the hill, trying to make that outside groove work. The good news is Jim McKiernan goes home a first-time winner here at Double Bowl Speedway. And clearly he's not too happy about it. And now picking up the pace is Ricky in turn number three. Final two turns. Checkered flag awaits him. It is Ricky in for the win. Warburg's going to run second and Ward will run third. Deep in the field, but a huge battle here at fourth, fifth, and sixth. Dream on. BQ2. Brown. And Trevor Rock right there as well, all trying to hunt down Jimmy Hodge.
Corner number two, Kenny Tremont is right there. Can he do anything with Gentile? Down. Donnelly down the inside. Donnelly makes the pass. Donnelly, your new leader. It's the battle for third place, but the man of the hour is BQ2. Seth Quinwell Jr., the future winner. Ron Proctor will take second and at the line, third place, we'll go to Greg Atkins. The turn two down the back stretch for the final time. Problems for Plumstead. Checkered flag is in the air and it's going to be Miguel. In the turn number three, out of turn four, he will win his fifth event of the season, Christiana in four of the win. Greg Slate will go second. Now she's a big time. Steve, Ashley Rogosic, did I say it right, Ashley? Yeah. Congratulations, these women racers are kicking butt up here. I know you have it, you have it. Thank you.